Hello, and thank you for your interest in our recent research letter. This is Yu Xingzhen from Zhejiang University. As we know, palmoplantar plantar postulosis is a chronic resistant skin disease characterized by serial postules and erysematous scaling on the palms and soles. Recently, bulk RNA sequencing of lesions in PPP patients revealed unexpected upregulation of Th2 gene expression, which is very common in atopic dermatitis. Dupilumab is a recombinant antibody, targets IL-4-R-alpha, and works very well on AD patients. Based on the emerging pathogenesis of PPP and successful experience treating sporadic PPP patients with dupilumab, we conducted a targeted study with 10 patients. In our clinical study, 9 of 10 patients achieved PP PASI 75 at week 16. All patients were followed up for at least one year and reported no recurrence and advanced events. To further understand the pathogenesis of PPP and mechanistic response to dupilumab, we profiled serum biomarkers with a link target 96 inflammation panel. As shown in Figure 1, when compared with that of healthy controls, CCL19, MCP4, CCL11 and CCL5 expression was upregulated in PPP patients. And most of these protein biomarkers have been highly associated with allergic diseases. Next, we identified DEPs that were differentially expressed in PPP, AD, and psoriasis patients compared to that of healthy controls. Interestingly, we noticed a more significant overlap when PPP versus AD, then PPP versus PSO. This may explain why Duplomab works so well against PPP. In conclusion, our study provides new insight into the treatment and pathogenesis of PPP. Thank you for your attention.